Yeah, you can get you can get a necklace. Good morning. Rise and shine. Do I need to leave? Yes, I need to leave. But really quick, I'm gonna cheat. And figure out what Ninety-seven. They want it below ninety. Well, it is what it is. Let's go get checked. Okay. Good morning. Today is my three-hour glucose test. So I cheated this morning to check to see what my glucose was. So if you missed it, I have been checking my blood sugar three times a day. Of everything going on, we were sick a couple weeks ago. We were just postponing my appointment. They still wanted to make sure and know that my blood sugar was staying within a, a decent range. So I've been really good. Um, I do have some numbers that like are above like perfect range. So we're gonna go in and see how I'm doing, but it's so bizarre. We are living in such a strange time. I am now texting my clinic and letting them know I'm here. They're trying to keep everyone in their car for their appointment because it minus three hours, they are gonna put me in a room. It's so strange. I just keep thinking of people that have weddings or we had a baby shower or even imagining how your delivery is gonna be with having your, your mom there. So many things are changing and having to be flexible that that life is a little bit different than than what we imagine like this pregnancy is a little bit different than we imagine the delivery is different for us because of her heart condition but it's different it's just it's just all so different i'm literally texting them telling them i'm here in the parking garage yeah all right so questionnaire have i been sick explained that i was sick almost three weeks ago Gave them the date, my symptoms, they took my temperature, and I thought I would be in a birthing suite. But right now I'm in the lab room, so I don't know if I'm gonna be in here for three hours or if I can lay down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we drew my fasting blood sugar. Now I'm drinking this, and yes, this one is twice the concentration as your one hour. It's more just on an empty stomach. It tastes fine, it's a little thicker. And yes, I have to be in here for three hours. Like two weeks ago, when we were gonna do the three hour, they said, you know, just come in. Yes. So a couple weeks ago, I would have been in the birthing suite, laying in the bed, I could have taken a nap. I guess I could sleep in that chair. Whoa, she's like, hey, good morning. Yeah, that's a lot of sugar. I know, I don't drink sugar. We don't drink sugar. Hmm. It's saying to fast for 12 hours before the test. I definitely had some almond milk last night at 11 because they said I could eat up until midnight, which would be nine hours before the test. Hmm. Oh well. I wonder how bad this is gonna make my heart burn. At least this is a comfy rocking chair. It'll force me to be upright and work. Oh, that is so gross. I can just feel like that yucky heartburn in like no three hours there we go she's waking up let's see I swear she's camera shy she just will not move on camera okay I am 30 minutes into the first hour so 30 minutes ago is when I drank the syrup I'm gonna just call it syrup because let's be real that's kind of what it is I do not feel good this much sugar i understand that like we want to make sure we don't have gestational diabetes but oh i don't feel good like i just don't consume this much sugar and this just feels awful like heartburn like not bad not like my bad heartburn but like unsettled stomach yeah i don't know i just don't feel great i want to get work done but i feel kind of awful so just kind of sitting here okay update in a minute i discovered the legs pop up, game changer. I'm gonna try to pee. Scoop a little bit. There are actually three 
mom is laboring so i think the reason that i'm in here for three hours is because three laboring mamas the smaller room over here is open but you have to have something open if more mamas come in so but i think i'm gonna put on my face ready before on again and then they came in for my 30 week appointment they were just gonna have a phone consultation for my appointment but um, because I was already here um, they did in person so I'm not sure if I explained this already I failed my one hour glucose mine was 157 it has to be below 140 for you to pass and so because of that I am doing the three hour test and what I've felt in this appointment so far is a little jittery and shaky and like I felt like my blood sugar was high. I'm curious what's gonna come back as. It's supposed to come back tomorrow. So I talked to her about my lingering cough um, and she was saying that it sounds like reactive airway um, after being sick and that's what it feels like. It's almost like a little bit of a spasm. She's not concerned. Ooh, okay, so I've been dabbing like where I want the line because if I just go for it, it's not as placed properly and then once that's there then you kind of blend from there so you guys i've been using beauty counter for the last year and i think i've been sharing it with you guys maybe for a couple of months now and i'm obsessed let's get rid of this line first did anyone take art lessons growing up ever and how you really just want to keep your paintbrush like really light and almost like hold your pinky up to like kind of feel like that light feeling that's like the best way to do makeup. Sometimes I get frustrated, like I'll see this line, I'm like, get blend, and then it makes it worse. Like, whereas if you're just patient and you, and you do it gentle, that's when you're gonna get the best paint on your makeup look. For years, I have been switching to more natural options, and makeup was one of the very last things that I was comfortable changing because I didn't want something that wasn't gonna work. And I can't believe I found something that actually works amazing, just like my other makeup ever did. But they are so picky on what they are going to allow in their product lines. Too much? I don't know. I can't see in fluorescent lighting. Okay, I'm not gonna overdo my makeup in fluorescent lighting because I don't know what it'll actually look like in the sun. But Beauty Counter is my absolute favorite. I love their company, I love what they stand for, I love that they are trying to make the beauty industry more clean and, and make regulations where that we have to put clean things in our body because we think, oh, it's on our skin, it's on the outside. No, like that's like the organ that's gonna absorb. So if you guys are interested in switching over your beauty to being clean beauty, um, I would encourage you guys, I uh, will leave it down in the description of each video and you can go shop my makeup routine. But how I started is I got a starter kit. So it's the Flawless in Five. So you can just try out like the basic products to see like, do I even like this on my skin? My favorite part was when I used their foundation and it actually matched my skin color. I was like, how? I have tried so many foundations that do not match. How in the world is this one matching? So starting with the Flawless M5, which is already discounted, was like the easiest way for me to start. And then from there, I just added product that I loved, especially bronzer. Gotta get some bronzer in there, right? Oh, and the mattifying powder. That's like an absolute must. That was a game changer once I bought that but I don't want you guys to feel overwhelmed. So so anyways, clean living, clean beauty. Just go down in the link in the description below. You can go check it out right there. Okay, I can't decide on this glucose test. I feel like there's like a little bit of like ringing in my ears a couple of times and like looking at my phone, I feel like a little more like squinty. I don't feel as confused. When I did the one hour, I remember like trying to have a conversation and feeling like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like. Just my glucose was so out of whack. The only thing that gives me major peace for this three hour is that if I fail, I have been watching my sugars and so I know my triggers right now are refried beans and tortilla chips, which are my absolute favorite. And they don't make my glucose go skyrocket, but it made it like 128 and 138 um, two hours after meals and they want it below 120. Hopefully tomorrow the results will come back and they'll be fine i will post it on this video i will continue filming so the very end of this video i will tell you if i passed or failed and if i failed i add gestational diabetes to the mix of this hot mess express 
infertility, everything that's going on in the world, cardiac baby, new place to deliver, coping with delivering in a hospital. Please don't add gestational diabetes to this. Please, please, please. Can I just say please? But look, baby's looking really cute. I was standing up in the bathroom and I was looking really popping. Definitely popping baby. That's my favorite part. I was laughing, I was telling Philip, I don't feel like I'm that big until I look at a picture or look at myself in the mirror. And I was laughing and Philip's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Anywho, okay. Keep going, almost done. Finally, I caught you on camera. Hi. That was like a wiggle. Dang it. Why do you always do it? Oh, why do you always do it right when I turn off the camera? Can you do it again? Do you know the glucose test is almost over and we can eat some protein? Does that sound good to you? What do you think? I can feel you jittering. You feel shaky from the sugar? Not fun. Not fun at all. No. Oh. There you go. Okay, last one. <laughs> okay, all my stars, we are done. And what I learned at my last appointment, which was only one hour, is to have a snack for right after. Ideally, high in protein, no sugar. So today's gonna be a low, low, low sugar day. No, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm just <laughs> having a couple bites and that'll come out. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So remember that time I made my sweet husband pack my backpack full of work to get done in three hours? When you feel like garbage the first couple hours, uh, you don't do work. So hopefully I'll get some time later this afternoon, maybe during nap time. Uh, sunshine, yay. I didn't do my weight on the way in. I think it was the same weight that I was a couple weeks ago. But total, I have gained 38 pounds. I've gained a lot, but I think when I was sick for a couple of weeks, um, I didn't really gain a lot. So maybe we were measuring, we measured about 28. So just like a little bit behind 30. So I think that might've been just from being sick. So now's the time to Start gaining again. Okay, we are home, and so tonight, hi, we are going to have. You are having your gummy vitamins. So I am like just wanting to eat a ton of protein, vegetables, all that. Um, so I am actually making egg salad for dinner. Me and my sister ate some. Egg salad because we were hungry, mm -hmm. but mom told us no. So we listened. Did you listen? <laughs> they snuck a couple bites, so I'm making a little bit it. more. I was really sad to leave California because we had this amazing farmer farmer's market and I could get whole chickens there, I could get ground ground chicken there, I got my eggs there. I mean I I, I always assume everybody knows this, but I, I know, I, then I learned that people don't. Excuse me, can I get the eggies, the eggies to yeah, you? Yeah, get a step stool. That you are looking for dark yolks. If they are light, pale yellow, they are not nourished chickens. And so you're just not benefiting from all the nutrition that you could be. But these local eggs are way cheaper than the ones hey, in California's farmer's market. Mommy, I will hand them in the next to you. Oh, you're gonna hand them to me? I'm sorry, I forgot. I can give those two to you. Kinsley, what's your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is eggies, okay. boiled eggies. Oh, you like boiled eggies? You guys usually don't like boiled eggies. I want to eat one like right now for the camp. Yeah, we gotta wait for dinner, huh? Okay, and then we're gonna peel them in this bucket for our compost pile. Uh, I'm doing the puzzle right. Good job doing the puzzle. So I'm hopefully gonna get my glucose results tomorrow, so I'll just pick up the camera and film that and tell you at the very end of the video if I passed or failed. I can't decide if I did or not. Just cause when I was in there, I'm like, 
I feel like like looking at my phone I'm like oh it's harder to see and like a little bit of ringing in my ears and like things that were like oh, that's because my sugar is so high like I don't know I just felt really icky but maybe maybe I passed I don't know we'll see hey guys I'm killing an eggy yes you are hey what vegetables do we want for dinner I don't know salad yes I do you have to say I cannot wait to pick salad Hi. that is from my garden what are you doing I can cut that one up next. Oh. Oh. I'm going to eat one right now. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> can I cut it up? You can. Please? Yep. Come over the counter. Cut. Very good. Okay, let cut. me know when it's all cut up, okay? Okay. Okay. Here you go. Take that to the table. Mama right. salad that you got on mine. Callie, come uh, over here. Okay, tell me what's on your plate. There's eggy salad. Uh -huh. Cucumbers and there is uh, quinoa. Quinoa and there's salad. Very good. As long as you recognize it, it makes it easier to eat, huh? Mm -hmm. When you know the name of it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but I love it. So for salad dressing, so I just have this is the kids' plate. I just have salad, quinoa, egg salad. And for my salad dressing, it is literally mayo, mustard, and a little bit of red wine vinegar. So I'll use that specifically on salads when I make um, what I call burger salads. Um, so it's like the ground meat, onions, uh, avocado, tomato, just anything that would be on a burger. And it's in a salad form. And then I will do that dressing because I, I would put on a burger, but I do it as the dressing. So I figured, oh, well, maybe I can do it with egg salad because it kind of has that exact same ingredients. I just have, a, have to be a lot more intentional what I'm eating during pregnancy because of my heartburn. So my favorite salad dressing is citrus, like a lemon, garlic salad dressing, but it's the citrus that is getting to me. Philip, I, I know I'm gonna get so much bigger, but I feel so tight right now. I don't know like where her body parts are yet, but she, she's still rolling around. The thing is every time I turn on the camera, she stops. There she is. <laughs> Can I brush my hair? I'm gonna brush my hair. <laughs> I just, I, I just can my not look like this. No, you look great. Every single time. What is going on? I passed. You did it. I did it. World's best I cup of coffee. I passed. I passed my three hour. I just got an email with um, lab results. And so my fasting. Why in this ungodly early hour of the morning are you going to brush your hair? Because look, I, I always look like a train wreck in the vlog. I can at least you brush don't. my hair. You're so gorgeous. Whoa, come on, focus. You're a gorgeous woman who doesn't need to smoke. Why? Why is it unfocusing? Because Here. you're so pretty, you broke the camera. There we go. Hi. Now, right. now it'll break again. Okay, my fasting was 78, which is below 90. I can't believe you did it. My one hour was 154. Four, which is below 180. My two hour was 151, which is below, I think it has to be below 160, but I'm not sure I'll put it on the screen what it's supposed to be. And then my three hour was 69, which is supposed to be below 140. Ugh. I'll, I'll, I'll put the actual numbers of what they're supposed to be. But mine were 78, 154, 151, and 69. And then underneath they said, congratulations, you passed your diabetes screen. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, this is actually really nice to have on hand just to know what your body's doing. So I actually really like that we have that now. And and I pass, and for anybody who doesn't pass, it's, it is a hurdle and it is something you have to work on. Um, but we have a lot on our plate with this pregnancy and I'm just really thankful gestational diabetes is not adding on to one more. Thing that we have to we have to do so yay okay baby girl okay we're doing good thank you guys so much for watching our three-hour glucose vlog what happened I passed a test yesterday can I have a high five high five yeah girl and we will see you guys in our next video say go let your love multiply go let your love multiply bye guys